if you dedicated yourself to these nine things before going out there in the dating world, bro, you would be an absolute king. Now let's be real, most young men these days, they're girl crazy, which hey, I get. I mean, there's a lot of beautiful women out there in the world. We know this. However, you can't live in reverse. You gotta put first things first. I don't mean to rhyme, but it happens all the time. Now the major thing you wanna accomplish before dating anybody, you got to increase your value. Now of course, this road to becoming higher value, it's a never ending journey. But if you're a young man, you gotta be real with yourself, bro. You're not high value. You're not high value yet, but hey, this is where the fun begins. Right now, right now it's time to build. So that's the key to all this. You gotta get a little selfish just for a little bit. Start focusing on yourself before going out there and focusing on all these girls. You gotta build up that house first before you welcome that girl in, right? So number one, let's go ahead and talk about physical appearance. Now, when it comes to style, less is more, my brothers. You gotta get this in your head. Women want masculine men, not fancy, flashy, glamorous guys. And one of the main qualities of masculinity is just being chill, being low key. The best hairstyle you can go for is just something short on top with a skin fade on the sides. And that's it, honestly. And I highly recommend you guys to get yourself some low shine clay and go for something a little messy. Anything too neat and tidy is just gonna give off nice guy friend zone vibes. By the way, Ocean Clay comes back in stock this coming week. Make sure you stay updated with us on Instagram at Shabu. I've got a 10% off discount code down in the description for you guys to use if you wanna buy any product. Now, as far as clothing style, pretty much the same concept. Yes, of course, you wanna wear and rock clothes and rock a certain style that makes you feel most confident. But at the same time, you gotta find that balance of what girls actually like as well. I say just go for more neutral or basic colors. You can implement some bright stuff in there, but don't overdo it. When you start matching the bright red hat with the bright red sneakers or the bright red shorts, it starts to get a little silly. Just keep it simple and low key. At the end of the day, you really wanna focus on shape and how the clothes actually complement your body. And I don't mean to keep throwing brands at your guys' face, but this shirt I just got from Alex Costa's brand. I think it's called Atos. I might be jacking that up, but really good brand, high quality, super stretchy fabric. And these shirts are made to give you that nice V shape. Of course, if you wanna check them out, I'll link them down below as well. Number two, status. Now, I don't mean to sound so superficial, but hey, it is what it is. You can't just be a nobody. You can't just be a average Joe. You be an average Joe, you're gonna get an average ho. <laughs> Even if you're a young guy, and say you don't have that much status, say you're just working at a Wendy's, the main thing you gotta focus on is progressing, catching some momentum. I always say whether you're flipping burgers, bricks, or houses, whatever you're doing in this current time in your life, do it to the best of your ability. If you're a plumber, dude, be the best plumber in the whole entire city, bro. And that's how you start to level up in life. You don't have to be the top G, but you have to have some sort of status and you have to be constantly progressing and leveling up in life, catching that momentum. And as a result of building that status, what comes after that? Money, which is number three. If you're a young man and you don't really got much going on for yourself, you don't really got any money, you really have no business taking women out on dates. I know there's this whole new modern way of doing things, new trend of, you know, oh, hey, we can split checks. I don't know, bro, to me, that's just straight soy boy, Gen Z, little guy stuff. I mean, look, this is your opportunity right here, right in the beginning of the relationship. This is the moment that separates the men from the boys, right? And which side do you wanna be on, the boys' side or the men's side? I mean, that's, that's just the obvious choice. I wanna be on the man's side. I wanna be paying for the date. I wanna be paying for her meal. And on top of that, I mean, as a man, I just wanna be able to constantly shower her with gifts and buy her certain things. And I mean, that should just be within you naturally, organically as a man, you just wanna do that kind of stuff. If you don't have that natural tendency to wanna take care of your girl, bro. I don't know about you. <laughs> I mean, try it, bro. Try to go out there and date women with no money and see what happens. Try taking your girl out to a nice dinner and be like, hey, you got this, right? <laughs> Number four, masculine energy. Now, I feel like above all else right now in the world, men, young men especially, just don't know how to embrace their masculinity. Don't get me wrong, they might have a lot going on for themselves. They might, you know, have a good job. They, you know, got good focus, but they don't have that masculine presence energy. They don't have those masculine qualities in just the way that they hold themselves. I see a lot of men these days, their energy is up here. You see a lot of dudes with just obnoxious energy. 
And they might be real nice guys, don't get me wrong, but that's the thing, when you got just nice guy energy all the time, big ol' smiles, big ol' high fives, you know, like, that's such like friend zone vibes, you know, like sometimes you get a little silly and you act like that with your bros, right? But when you're with a girl, and especially in the very beginning, especially when you're first dating a girl, you need to really showcase that masculine energy. Take all that high energy up here, and push it down there, down in your nuts. Right, the nuts is what makes you a man, right? Your ball sack, your wiener. <laughs> so keep the energy down there. A lot of guys get nervous, they got nervous energy. Again, this energy right here, where you're just sitting back in your seat, you're wide, taking up some room. That's manly stuff right there, bro. And that's where you wanna be at, and for the most part, right? So what that masculine energy is gonna do is it's gonna start to bleed into, number five, your social skills, your communication skills. And that right there, that is everything, dude, especially the way that you talk to women. And the only way to build this skill is to actually just go out and just do it. And if you're a guy like me who deals with social anxiety, oh well, bro, nobody cares. Ain't nobody gonna coddle you and tell you it's okay. No, and so you just gotta get out there and you gotta start pushing yourself out of that box. I still have to, even to this day, bro, I still, have those social anxiety tendencies, bro, but I gotta keep pushing myself. I gotta keep going out and talking to people, progressing. Good social skills always showcases confidence. And as we know, confidence is the number one thing that a woman looks at in a man. So if you're an introvert like me, you gotta learn how to be a pseudovert. A pseudovert is an introvert who just acts and pretends like he's an extrovert. You gotta get real good at that. And honestly, you guys, the best way to go about this that I've learned, I've tried everything, is just the art of being chill. Be okay with being silent. Be okay with, you know, if you got nothing to say, you got nothing to say. This then puts you in a place where it's like, you're cool, you're content with just who you are. You don't feel like you need to impress anybody or be Mr. Funny Guy or be Mr. Seducer. And so if you're okay with being that guy, just being the chill, cool guy, that's when that confidence starts to percolate through, starts to bleed through, and then you just start building from there. And then the next step after that is number six, relationship skills. Now please, my brothers, please, 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 I need you to read these two books right here. At all cost, read these two books. Number one, The Resolution for Men, and number two, The Five Love Languages. Money right there. You read those two books, you won't ever have to watch me again. These two books will really just set the tone for you and how to go about a relationship. I mean, let's be real, for most of us, we haven't been shown the way. Our parents, the relationship we saw growing up was toxic, right? A lot of you guys have parents out there that were constantly attacking each other, constantly putting each other down. And so for most of you watching, a lot of you men out there, someday soon, maybe very soon, you're gonna be the head of your relationship, the head of the house. And with that authority, there's a lot of responsibility in that, my brothers. Yes, you have authority. Yes, you have leadership. But leadership doesn't mean dominance. It means service, sacrifice. Just like how I lead this channel, right? I'm ahead of this Dre Drexler channel. Though you guys are kind of following these videos, at the end of the day, I mean, I'm serving you. I'm constantly creating these videos. I'm constantly researching and reading and trying to figure out what knowledge and wisdom I can pour into you. And I'm spending countless hours serving you guys, right? And that's what it means right there to be the man of the house, the head of his family. And so acquiring those relationship skills, it all starts there. That's where it starts. Number seven, your environment. Now, whether you live at home with your parents or you got your own place, your room can't be looking like some middle schooler, oh, my mom does my laundry type environment where you got, you know, your video games hanging out with all the cords showing. You got your dirty, stinky shoes sitting out on display. You got your Pokemon card collection right over here. Lotion and tissue box on your nightstand. No, bro, no. Your room needs to look immaculate. It needs to look sexy, man-like. You need to be thinking to yourself, how would James Bond decorate this room? That's, that's the kind of mindset you need to have. Number eight, responsibilities. This one is massive. This is huge, bro. This is one of those things where you don't think it's a big deal until you start hitting your 30s like me and you look back and you're like, ah, dang, bro. I missed it. I should have mastered this skill. I should have got on this one. I'd be so much more farther in life. Listen, 
And I just learned this myself recently. This is why I'm so, I'm pushing this on you so hard. You're not supposed to be living it up in your 20s. These days, our mindset is, oh, I'm only gonna be young once. YOLO, bro, gotta live it up. This is my chance. You do this now, you live like this now, you're setting yourself up for some major headache, for some major hell. Look, if I could go back and talk to my 20 year old self, I would tell him, hey dude, have as much responsibility as possible. Put as much on your plate as possible. It's gonna do nothing but build you up as a man. It's gonna do nothing but just keep you mission focused, eyes on the prize. In fact, I would even tell him, hey, do the things that stress you out. Have a schedule that puts some pressure on because that stress is what's gonna build you up into being a man. You learn how to handle all this pressure, it's gonna do nothing but build up mental and physical fortitude. You're gonna get such a head start on life if you just understand responsibilities. And on top of that, you're not gonna have no time for all the miscellaneous, pointless stuff. And check this out, growing up, I've told you guys, I was addicted to prawn for years, right? But looking back, I realized I just had way too much time on my hands. And a man who lacks purpose, what's he do? He distracts himself with pleasure every single time. Create responsibilities, my brothers. This will take you so far, and you gotta realize that there's also major responsibility in just being a son. If you're living at home, just being a brother, there's major responsibility in that. And if you can't even handle that task, that task at hand, how do you expect yourself to transition on over into being a man? and leading a family, leading a wife. It ain't gonna happen, so make sure that you're taking care of business right now. Optimize who you are and the current position that you have right now in your life. Number nine, faith. Gotta have faith, gotta have faith in something. You gotta believe and stand for something. Gotta stand for God, gotta stand for Christ. Even if you're an atheist, there's some faith in that. I mean, you gotta believe in the Big Bang, right? You gotta believe in evolution. That stuff takes faith as well. Can't be ignorant. All ignorant means is just choosing to ignore, choosing to just keep putting off. Faith is the foundation of who you are as a man. And I know a lot of you right now are about to click off, exit this video, because uh, this stuff is just bubble gum, right? But men who stand in faith, who have that solid foundation, that stand for God, that stand for Christ, they become unbreakable. When you stand for Christ, and you stand for his values, his principles. Hey, even if you don't believe in him and you stand for those things, you follow those things, it's gonna lead you in the right direction every single time, it will. You know this too, you know this. It may not be the easiest path, but it'll challenge you, it'll build you up, it'll keep you in check, keep you in line. And not only that, it'll also build up those around you. It'll build up your family, your friendships. So now by the time you're 25, by the time you're 30, now you're a top G. And rather than putting all your confidence and sureness in yourself and what you can do, you put it all on him now. Think of the most masculine thing in nature. What is it? A mountain, right? Christ is that mountain. And when you lean on him, when you lean on that mountain, no matter what storms come your way, that mountain is immovable, unshakable. And that's why I choose to put my faith in that. I choose to put all my confidence and sureness and everything of who I am into that, into something that's unbreakable. I post to myself, I'm just a man, you know, I, I break every day, I mess up every day, I always fall short. With that said, appreciate you guys watching, be sure to hit the notifications button to be informed when I drop new content. Until next time, do what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. Peace always.